Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to create a super simple timer using verse code and a billboard device. And this is what it looks like if you go start game. Here's our billboard. And you see it's just counting down from 30. And of course we can have this trigger anything. It's kind of cool because we can have something that looks different from other timers that we have in the game traditionally. We don't really have anything that looks quite like this, this countdown. So it's kind of cool. So I'll just go ahead and in the game and we're going to jump into Unreal Editor for Fortnite here. So I've just created a creative device and then I brought in a billboard device here. And then once these are in the scene and I have the code written, of course I pair the billboard to my creative device. Let's just take a look at the verse code. It's actually, I what I've done is I followed that countdown timer example in the Unreal Editor documentation, but I've really just tried to make it super simple. So anyway, up here we have our modules that I brought you bring in. Here we create my timer device as a creative device. Here we make a reference to that billboard device and call it my billboard. Here we create a variable, just a float variable, call it remaining time. Here we create this reference to remaining time text and it's of the message type. These parentheses allow us to append it with a float variable on begins play. We go spawn, which basically means go ahead and do your own thing, but don't stop me from putting more code up in here. So I did a tutorial about this spawn expression. Anyway, let's take a look at this run countdown. It starts a loop. We put it to sleep. Since it's a has a time function in there, it has to have the suspense specifier. Put it to sleep for a second, and then we take the remaining time, deduct one from it, and then set that new. And then that updates system wide. And then we do an update call here. This doesn't take anything in and it doesn't return anything out. It's just simply getting called. And what it's doing is it's going to update our text each time it gets called. So this line of code is very interesting to me. But essentially what it's doing is it's referencing this variable, this remaining time variable, acknowledging it as a float. And it's almost like accessing it almost as if an array or something. And then it's reassigning it to this name, float time. And then we call my billboard device, we set the text, and then we do this. We reference here this message type reference up here, and we can put this float time, it will accept this value that's been initialized up here as a float. So I'll put references to some videos in the description that talk more about these, because it, it is a little confusing, but if you watch those videos and then you do this a couple times, it starts making a little bit more sense. And anyway, that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. And then if the remaining time gets less than zero, then break the loop. And of course, you could trigger, build in a more logic then from there. Like when the time runs out, then do more stuff. Trigger other things to start happening. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.